Welcome to Asian at Home. And right now I'm making gyoja that I had in Kobe, Japan. And I'm like, you can tell, like, like I'm so excited right now because this is the best gyoja ever you will have in your life. Let me tell you, it's so simple yet so, so good. You know, sometimes simple is better. This is exactly what it is. So I'm chopping my leg right here. You can use a green onion instead or chived. I love the sweetness of the leg. That's why I choose to use the leg. And make sure you chop all the ingredients really, really fine because that will help later when you try to shape the gyoza. It'll be so much easier. So, okay, I'm gonna set aside the Right here and I already chopped and salted my cabbage so this way cabbage will actually shrink down their size and release their natural moist because we don't want all the moisture into gyoza otherwise the gyoza will be like really watery and we don't want that to happen so that's what I did now what we have to do is squeeze all the water out so either paper towel or clean kitchen towel just place all this cabbage and I'm just going to squeeze it like how I'm doing my hand wash clothes. You know what I mean? All right, you see how much water in this bowl? Huh? Okay, just discard that. And into a mixing bowl, let's place this salted and squeezed cabbage right in there. So this is about two cups of chopped regular green cabbage. Okay, in here, I'm gonna add eight ounces of ground pork. Obviously, you can use any type of ground meat that you like to use, but pork is a classic for Japanese kyoja. And all this chopped ginger, really, really finely chopped ginger, and some chopped garlic, and grab all the chopped leg and place in. It looks so beautiful with the greens and light greens and yellow with some pink from the pork. Oh, love, love beautiful food when I'm cooking. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna put really amazing flavor into the gyoza filling by adding one and a half teaspoon of soy sauce, one teaspoon of sake, Japanese rice wine, teaspoon of sugar. The recipe is really easy to remember. Everything is teaspoon or one and a half teaspoon and a teaspoon of cornstarch or potato starch. Little pinch of black pepper. And let's mix it all. Oops, oops, oops. I forgot to add some sesame oil. Whew, glad I remembered. A teaspoon of sesame oil. Got to have it. <laughs> right there. Oh. oh, it smells so good. I cannot believe I forgot sesame oil. Oh my God, it smells so amazing. And the cornstarch will help all the wet sauce ingredients that we add into the filling to hold it together. They look so good and they smell so good. I'm so excited about this gyoza. All right, they are ready. The filling is really simple, right? So easy. Now we are gonna shape some serious looking beautiful gyoza. To shape the gyoza, we need the gyoza wrapper, obviously. I'm using this store-bought gyoza wrapper today, but if you wanna know how to make gyoza wrapper from the scratch, go check it out on my video. I do have a recipe. It's really simple to make, but when it's already made like this, it makes my life so much easier too. You know what I mean? Okay, make sure you cover the gyoza wrapper with them towel while you're working on because you don't want them to dry out. It will start to dry out from the edge and it will be really hard to shape the gyoza when they start to drying it out. So that's very important and you will need a little bowl of water and the filling obviously. So let's start to make the gyoza. Grab a gyoza wrapper and put some water around the edge and scoop out about a tablespoon of the filling a little less than a tablespoon actually don't be too greedy it will be really hard to you know close this down from the edge just pinch it and then just fold and pinch fold and pinch 
fold and pinch and fold and pinch that's it how easy and simple is this i know a lot of people really intimidating by shaping gyoza but it just takes a little practice to make it really perfect every single time but it's so easier than what you think i'm gonna continuously make the gyoza this amount of filling will make about 22 to 24 gyoza all right i just finished making gyoza this is my last one uh, if you want to freeze them right now go ahead and freeze them i recommend you to freeze for a couple hours as a one layer without touching each other so the outside surface will be freeze and then put in a ziplock bag zip lock bag zip zip lock bag <laughs> and then freeze it it will go up to two to three weeks because we want this gyoza to be still have that freshness so anyways i'm just gonna start the cooking right now in my house whenever i'm making gyoza we never freeze anything because it's just so easy to eat so good we just eat it all every time so i will be heating my eight inch pan over medium high heat and i'm gonna add some oil and place the gyoza as a round shape and give them about half inch room each other too. All right, as soon as you place the gyoza into the pan, quickly combine one teaspoon of cornstarch or potato starch and three tablespoons of water. And we are gonna pour this into the pan right away. Cover with the lid immediately and cook for five to six minutes or until all the moisture evaporated. All right, look at my perfect gyoza. This is the best gyoza ever you will put in your mouth because so simple yet so flavorful and delicious. You could just use regular water, but when you make it slurry and pour it, it will create nice wing on the bottom of the gyoza, extra crunch. All right, now I'm gonna make dipping sauce real quick. This is real, real simple and quick. Half tablespoon of soy sauce tablespoon of rice vinegar and to your taste either a oh, little drizzle of sesame oil or some chili oil i like chili oil you know i got some spice mm -hmm. just like that and just mix it together mm -hmm, mm -mm -mm. oh my god this is gonna be so good <laughs> so excited all right this is it i'm so excited so good, smells so freaking amazing. I brought you some chopsticks. Yes, this is my husband. He forget, knows. I didn't forget mine though. <laughs> he knows what I need. Okay, you ready? Feeling how crispy it is. It's almost like a little thin cracker, huh? So the bottom is nice and crispy. Almost like a thin cracker, but then the top, mm, the top is really nicely steamed and tender and soft. So dip in the soy sauce, the dipping sauce. I'm so excited to try this one. Me too. Mmm. Mmm, good. Mmm. Mm. Ginger and pork is really good together. Mmm. 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 Mm. The bottom is nice mm. and crispy. Mm -mm. The top is nice and chewy because mm -hmm. it's like steamed mm -hmm. and then inside all those like cut up the vegetables like the cabbage and stuff has a nice little crunch to it too mm -hmm. oh. Oh. where's my beer you want beer mm. oh. yeah my beer i made it <laughs> had to run to go get it cheers <gasps> <laughs> your beer got excited Oh, I did get excited. Cheers. Kumpai. 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 Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh. I know she made like <clears throat> 20 something of these. All 20 can still be appetizers for two people. <laughs> They're that good. I love my gyoza recipe. It's the ratio of the meat and vegetables. So in that batch, she made seven. 
It can happen. Because I'm a nice wife. No, she just knows she's gonna make more. <laughs> I'm gonna have a nice and fresh hot one. <laughs> when they get like this, it's almost like potato chips. You just keep eating them. Mm. Actually, oh, that's actually good. Um, explain this outside the thin part, the crunchy part. It's like a thin potato chips. Mm. Mm. If you liked my kyoja recipe, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Song Jung Long Gast, and this is Asian at Home. And we will see you next time. Bye! Bye. Mwah. Oh, I, I forgot to ask you what what do you think about comparing to what we had in Japan? I like this one, the texture of the filling. Because mm. the texture of the filling at the other one, and you, I mean, they have to make a it's a restaurant, so make a whole bunch of them. Theirs is actually more smooth texture, which some people might like, but I like that little fresh the crunch. Mm. So I, I mean, and your sauce is better because we make it to our taste. So that chili oil in the sauce. Wow. Guys, beat Japanese gyoza from Japan at your home.